Hi, in this video we will talk about a new state management solution provided by TanStack, the TanStack Store. TanStack Store provides us a very simple API with no boilerplate code like Redux and we will take a look at it right now. If you like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel because it motivates me to make more videos. So right now I have two components. I have a login component and I have a profile component. So what I would want is I set the state in the login component and then through global state management, I get the state inside the profile component. So right now I have uh, this login component where I have a button set user. So I would want that when I click on this button, I set this particular object as a global state and then I get that state in this particular component. So right now, this variable is undefined obviously so that is why you can see that's uh, showing the no user information text but i would want that uh, you know when the user is set obviously this would not run the user information should show up so that is what we want so first of all we would make the store just like we do in redux but it's very simple setup so i'll say con store is equal to new store and we will pass the initial state as the first param so whatever we want so i will pass an object i'll say state and then i will say that there should be user state so user and currently it would be undefined obviously and here i would set the type of user so i would say user or undefined so yeah and um here i've made the store let me export it as well so basically this store function um, provides us with some callbacks we would use. So first thing is it, it provides us with a set state method which we'll use in the login component. So I would import the store here. So I'll say import store from store. And here I would say store dot set state and here set state requires a function as a param so this function should return an object with the state and here i'll pass the user this user and now in the profile component i have to use the um, state here so i would use the use store hook from tanstack store so i'd say let user is equal to use store and here I'll pass the store and here I'll pass the selector function so what do I want to get from the store so I would say store store dot state dot user so you can you saw that how much type save it is it told me that there is a user property here so yeah, um, now the code is set let me refresh it I click on the set user button and now I can see the user information so we saw that literally within like one two minutes and three four lines of code i was able to add a global state management solution to my project and it's much easier than um, redux or any other solution you know context api and uh, etc so if you like the video uh, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions or comments uh, you know you can add them in the comments down below as always i will see you in the next video bye